Hi, Nick Collier here. Hey, uh, first we're going to have a look at the little chicken coop up above because it's a pretty cool thing. And then uh, we're going to go into the bowels of creativity. So follow me in and we'll just kind of walk into the process of the numerous things that I have that I'm working on at the moment. And just keep following me in. And right here, keep uh, keep coming, is uh, a, uh, a coffee cart that I'm making for my stepdaughter. And then we're stepping into um, the the big bench, which uh, handles right now. It has the uh, the bullet number seven soapbox derby car that I entered in the race. Oh, I don't know. It was uh, a couple of years ago. Took eighth place. And let's turn back around here and look at uh, the um, the covered wagon coffee cart that uh, Karen will be using soon once I get it built. So we're in process with that uh, and come back around to the soapbox derby car and uh, in here, turn on a light, we have a uh, uh, little mini wood stoves that I'm building out of five gallon old army surplus cans and you can kind of see the can right there and uh, basically uh, you know it's just a stove with a door that opens and uh, and we get uh, we get to watch the fire so um, there's the eight of them behind there and I got about oh like eight or ten more uh, stashed underneath so uh, we'll move forward with that and um, Next in the series of events is the uh, Bridgeport Mill, which is an incredible tool. And uh, I got that for, uh, at, on eBay. I had it, uh, it cost, I cost 1200 bucks, which was a great deal, but then it also cost 1000 bucks to ship it out from Philadelphia. Way back in the corner you're there, you see my old um, South Bend 9 inch, which is, um, I've had for about 20 years. And it's a great little lathe, uh, but you know it just wasn't big enough to handle some things that I needed to do. So I came in about five or six years ago and bought uh, this old gearhead lathe uh, called the Moss M A S, and uh, it was made in uh, communist Russia in 1954 of all things. Great lathe, works wonderful. I just love this lathe, uh, and the things that I've made with the lathe. We'll kind of turn around here and look at that. You'll These see. These are some various uh, tools that I made over over the years. Uh, and oh, under here, let's look at uh, the dapping blocks in process. But uh, we'll get to that later. Free uh, energy electromagnetic generator that I'm building for a guy in Florida. Uh, a magnet motor that I built, to, oh, probably about a year ago. And uh, it doesn't quite work yet, but uh, I'm working on it and uh, the anti-gravity device. Well, let's look at this one first because I built this one in 1975. And uh, this one was the same thing. And I built that about, uh, oh, I don't know, three or four years ago. So moving on uh, over into the welding bench, uh, keeping all of the uh, welding goodies in one little corner um, and uh, other various tools. We have a couple of uh, kilns for pottery. Let's go into the studio part of the, of the, of the uh, workshop area. And uh, the first part of the studio is the pottery room. And, uh, oh, I just want you to see this one. It just came out really great. Um, and, I, I'm, you know, the, the, the glaze is a little splotchy, so I actually may run that through the, lay, or through the kiln one more time. Um, here's another piece that just really is sweet. Just, it, I, I had no idea it was coming out this way, but you can see in that bowl all those different colors. Kind of looks like a tropical lagoon or something like that. So we've got uh, other pottery that I'm going to be, uh, you know, offering for sale which will be here and in that back room back there. And then also, uh, I've been kind of involved for the past three or four years in doing uh, um, watercolors. And here's a couple of pieces 
that I've uh, framed and hung and I'll have them up for sale and a couple over here these are these are really my favorites you can kind of see it ah I just love those so uh, continuing the process we're moving into the next room and of course this little room here is the buffing room the dark side of jewelry making oh and the ladder <laughs> the but the buffing room uh, and that uh, takes everything to a polish and we're going to rotate around and look at the welding bench and here's a piece right here that is in process uh, a little bracelet up hopefully I'll have that done by this weekend and stone cutter no problem we're going to move around and here's where I develop all of my uh, different um, designs and, and basically I, I used to have all these pieces of paper laying around and I decided you know hey why not make a roll so I got a roll of paper and I built this uh, frame for it and so basically this roll unravels and slides across the table and then re-rolls back up on that back roll which is perfect because it gets it out of the way and I don't have to deal with it anymore and uh, let's come back around here because this is probably the main one of the main events here uh, and this is the jewelry and you can kind of see let's come in a little closer here it's still a little messy I still have to clean it up and get everything straightened out but it's uh, in good shape another painting of the seascape let's see if we can get that straight and then a bunch of paintings in uh, in um, you know in cellophane just uh, didn't get it framed coming back around oh hey biker Bob there he is what a guy um, Nick Collier the novelist still plugging along having fun with it uh, a couple of other paintings these are big ones and I just love these pieces this is really kind of the the pinnacle of my skill at this point in my life I just these just came out beautiful and I'm really pleased with them both of them and this one's a moonscape not too bad and then uh, swinging back around we got a couple of tools in the corner here and then the grand finale and you, we're going to back up just a little bit so we can see it and that is the dome and the jewelry bench you can see the the bench itself is a kind of a three quarters of a donut you can see there and I sit in the middle and uh, I you know when I when this bench is all in process I probably got about oh I don't know one two three four six or eight projects going all around that bench but right now it's all cleaned up for you when you come when you show up um, so and then the dome itself is uh, pretty spectacular and, and I built this dome because I needed light jewelry you really need a lot of light now I have these lights up above here but and, you know and that's for kind of night but um, I like to have natural light so I built the dome to accommodate that that need and uh, we've got a few things kind of in around in the circle here around the outside edge of the um, of the um, bench and just kind of some knick-knacky stuff that I got laying around we'll rotate back around and look at the entire studio and oh the wood stove of course and um, so come visit it's a great place I love being here.